There's an old saying that death comes in threes. When one person dies, people usually walk around in shock. Bereft family members and friends shake their heads, mutter about the unfairness of death, and float slowly along until the tide of acceptance engulfs their grief. And then a short time later, there comes news of another death. Heads shake again, but this time in a knowing fashion. The smell of destiny permeates the air. Grief inexplicably turns to expectation of the death of a third. There is sometimes a certain smugness noted in comments when the third passing occurs. The inevitable, I told you, or my mother always used to say, or phrases heard, usually in whispers. The fearful may stall their own untimely demises if these words are unheard by sources more powerful than themselves. For telling a thing so dark brings satisfaction. There is power to the philosophy that one can't change fate, or so it is told. There is also a belief that a prophecy foretold can be transformed. A chance stroll down a different street, a decision to climb the stairs instead of riding the elevator, or the avoidance of walking beneath a building blanketed with scaffolding can each make a critical difference in a projected outcome. Today I sit at the ocean front and watch the waves on Juliet crash and disappear. A breeze, the ripple of a small fish, or the tiny feet of a child running to and fro on the sand may alter the destiny of the wave. My life tells me that all is an illusion. Our destinies are created by our beliefs and our actions manifest our futures. <laughs>